Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival! This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Iron Man 6 competition unofficially, uh, alongside the other competitors. And we will be an official competitor in, in the Iron Man Competition 7, but this year I was just a little too late in getting my entry in, but uh, I can still follow along unofficially. I've been asked to not spoil the mission details before the other competitors have posted their vids. So, so I'm going to comply, of, of course, and I won't release any spoiler about the missions until everyone's done the mission and posted their videos. <clears throat> so having said that, you can see I've worked on my base a little bit. Let's go into third person view. And yeah, the lighting sucks. I haven't actually turned my base on, so you can see I've got um, I've got this work area here. This is going to be where the constructors and kind of living quarters, I guess, temporarily. Uh, upstairs, I haven't poked in any. I haven't put an elevator in here yet, or at all, because I haven't made any. Because I don't actually have any gear in here to make anything yet. I'm just surviving on a uh, mobile constructor on the. SV or on the uh, HV right now. <clears throat> this little room over here is the generator room. Um, so I've got a wet Jenny going right now for water and <clears throat> there's a furnace that I looted from the mining facility or the mining whatever it was. <laughs> the mining center, I don't know, whatever the civilian POI was with all the uh, <clears throat> constructors in it, which also, I kept all those, so I have them all here. Uh, well, in various places, but uh, here we go, we've got on us. So, <clears throat> I also looted the large generators, the large constructors, a bunch of the other stuff from it too. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've noticed though I do not have I do not have food processor or a fridge. Okay. <clears throat> what we do need to do is make sure before we put all that stuff in that we're going to have enough resources to defend it. Oh, let's uh, take a look at my stats here. I'm level 7, 5 kills, 0 deaths, 0 pings. Uh, let's take a look at what we got for resources. We, we're getting a little low on, oh no, actually I went out and mined copper, right? Mined some more iron. Uh, we've gotten a little bit of magnesium, I guess from rocks and looting them from POIs. And I've got some more silicone. <clears throat> so yeah, we're, we're good. That's, uh, 780 iron ingots plus, I've still got 400 and so, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bad frog in my throat. It seems every time I start up a video, my throat act ups and I can't talk. It must be psychological. I have no idea. <clears throat> but whatever the case may be is it's hard to breathe. So you have to put up with me uh, clearing my throat. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So, in the meantime, we've got the resources. Uh, we've got wood. We've got all that. To... It's good. And it's going to be daylight pretty soon. So, here's the upper store. All this, all these windows I actually looted. <clears throat> I ran out of concrete. I couldn't finish the roof off. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about that. Because I think today what we are going to do is we're going to put the generators in, we're going to build, we're going to put the constructors in, and we're going to do all that stuff and get the base up and running and hopefully have some drone base attacks because the drones have lots of good loot on them, which I'm going to need to spawn in a CV later on. So I think in the meantime, let's figure out where we're going to put the stuff. We can put in a bunch of gear without it actually triggering base attacks. So well, I do have some blocks left, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, so let's 
get some of these in. We're going to start off with some constructors. I usually like to have access to my constructors fairly quickly because it's usually the thing that I want to get to first. So let's put it back a little bit. And then we're going to have one. Come on, stop it. One. Two. Three. We'll have space for three perfectly. Okay. So it's one, one, two, one, two. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, oh, come on. Really? Wow. Stop that. Okay. I know the, I know they can only pivot it on one block and this is considered four blocks actually eight blocks if you count the two-story high but <clears throat> so it can only pivot on one block I get that um, now do I want the panel facing this way or facing the door I'm gonna be accessing it as soon as I come in a lot so I think I think come on stop that okay I think like this so that's one two one two yeah okay one two one two so it's one back there we go we'll put that one in there we'll put this one in right beside it but I'm gonna pivot the console <clears throat> and then we'll go loot another one and put it in there. Okay, so let's transfer stuff into it now. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this stuff here. Uh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, you can actually do this with your drone by going into the control panel and then accessing your stuff. Because you can't F into stuff, but you can use your drone to access the control panel of a, of a device and if you're close enough you can actually get into it and grab stuff out of it. I don't know if you guys realize that but that is what you can do. And you know what I'm just gonna grab most of this stuff here. Where's the iron? There it is. Silicone. Put these parts in there. Uh, Okay, let's transfer these. So now, <clears throat> I don't actually, well, what I'll do is I'll go over here, I'll look at this, hit the control panel, that way I know which one I'm looking at. And let's auto group this. I just want to name these things. So we've got constructors, and I'm pretty sure the large constructor that I had that was highlighted was the correct one. So I'm going to actually call this one the builder and it's going to be doing the bulk of the building and so let's put all this stuff in here for now I'm not going to worry about oh actually the builder smell food no let's get rid of that does that go in there uh sure it can make biofuel actually you know what we're going to put that in the other constructor it's going to be the fuel ammo constructor <clears throat> uh and it's going to need wood logs so in the meantime though actually in the meantime i think i'm meh, you know what you know what i can get both these going at the same time right of course i can so that should go in the into here okay fine and then that goes into there let's put all these parts into there the ores will put in the other one and we'll put that into there and okay so let's go into this one now and this one we're going to call the ammo fuel constructor. And you also notice I got a furnace. So actually what I'm what I should do is 
put all of my goodies that I can't that, that I need to smelt into there so it'll smelt it according to the order that you put it in so it will smelt all the copper first until it runs out of copper to smelt then it'll smelt the cobalt if you want the iron first flip it over and actually actually let's do it in this order that's actually you know what no let's do it in this order <laughs> Okay, uh, enough of the shenanigans. Okay, so now that I've got those named, it won't be so confusing for me. And, wow, I dented this thing landing. Huh. I suck. Okay. Let's grab more stuff, so the rest of this ore and parts... So I've got nothing in there now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what about cargo? Uh, there's nothing to go in the constructors for that. Did I put anything in here? Not really. Oh, wait, no, the weapon kits can go in there, but I can't pick them up. Okay. So I'm just going to look down at my base, go into the control panel from here, and now access my gear. So I'm going to put that in there, that in there, that, 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 is that it for parts? These, I call these blocks because you directly add them to a vehicle or CV or a base. So because you directly add them, they're not a component to build something with, I call that a block. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but that's what I call it. <laughs> Concrete blocks are blocks too. Fuel tanks are blocks. Spoiled food is not block. Okay, so now we'll put this stuff in the ammo constructor and the, um, the other thing, the furnace. That in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. I can't do anything with the magnesium, so we're not going to bother putting that in there. <clears throat> okay, the rest of this goes into the fuel. Uh, don't need crushed stone for fuel, at least not that I know of. needed in the builder though. Wow, I got like one? Oh, that's right too. I ran out of concrete. So, yeah, I got one. Uh, Sath, we'll put that in there. Okay, so now we can put cargo blocks in. We can. I've already got doors in the ATM uh, fuel tanks. So, what we're going to do is we are going to queue up, even though that is not turned on yet, we're going to queue on... Oh, I didn't learn it. Well, that's a good thing that I rose some levels. So I'm level 7. What we need to do first is take explosive device. Go into tools. We're going to take the T2 drill. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the other stuff right now. Miscellaneous, I'm not going to really worry about right now. Hover vehicle, yeah, what we need is we need a cannon, a fridge, we're going to need elevator blocks, we're going to need plant grow lights, because I plan on getting those going right away, uh, an armor locker, I don't have the stuff for a repair station so I'm not even going to worry about that and what else what else fuel tank we can get small ones at least small Jenny I don't really need it but I got to take it to get the for the other stuff uh, I'm not going to worry about the offline protection or the O2 station right now um, 
Capital vessel, I'm not going to worry about. Hover vehicle, I'm actually going to take more of this stuff. Now, the reason I took the O2 tank originally is to unlock this stuff, to actually get to the armor locker. And so now we can take that. I'm going to take the minigun turret, and we are pretty much out of stuff. Points. So we're going to have to go level. Uh, okay. I think what we'll do... Oh, let's just put this away. Okay. So, what I want to do now that I've actually learned the turrets, I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to queue it up. And you can see that I can now make the HV minigun turret and I can make the cannon turret. So I'm going to go ahead and make two of those turrets, at least queue them up. I don't have power to the base yet, so it's not running, obviously. But as soon as I kick on the power, it's going to start making those. <clears throat> and the furnace will start smelting the rest of the stuff, then I can push that into the ammo builder and build some ammo really quick. So, let's get these put in the furnace room. Uh, okay, we'll just move that to here for now. Okay. Now, I forget if it activates as soon as I put the generator down and I believe one generator is going to be one T1 generator is probably going to be plenty for this spot so I think we'll just hmm stop it come on get why really that was weird uh you know what we can just put it there Let's just put it there. And we're going to put fuel tanks in now. Oh, did I not grab the T? Oh, yeah, that's all I had, I think, was all those. Okay, so let's put these in. Three. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's spin this. Go one. You know what? That's probably going to be plenty. And I don't want to get too close to it because, yeah. Yeah, that'll be plenty. Let's put the oxygen in here now. Now, I didn't make any of this stuff. But I looted it all. So it's not like I, I made too much. I just, I guess I looted too much. Okay, that'll be plenty oxygen. I'm not actually going to even bother putting ventilators in here. I don't need to. The planet is oxygenated. But I do need to turn the power on because it needs to be between, I, I want to say it's 20 and 40 degrees to grow stuff. And a cooler can get a little hotter and a little cooler than that. So it could kill the plants if I don't actually. And they won't grow anyway without the light. So, so here we go. This is our furnace generator room. And we will put in more. We'll put in an O2 generator and some hydrogen later on. Uh, but until now, until then, I should say, uh, this is what we got. So. Let's go into our fuel. And you know what? We'll just go directly equip our gun here. And we will just auto group everything again. Now I think that keeps the name of everything. Yeah, that our name. Good. Okay. So let's fill this up. And you can see those hundred things didn't fill up all those tanks very much. So it's going to take a bit. And now we're going to turn it on. There goes everything. It's all fired up. So right now we've got, we've got the furnace pumping out iron. I'm 
I'm going to take that. I'm going to flip this over to there. And I'm going to flip this over to there because I want copper right now. And my other constructor should be building those two. Okay. Okay, let's get silicone going here. I don't think I actually need silicone for the ammo. I think I just need iron and uh, nitrocellulose for the for the bigger ammunition. For the tier one large ammunition, anyway, tier one. So this will need it anyway. So let's go into here, and we'll go into the ammo fuel, and we'll dump this stuff in there. And now it'll let me make ammo. I'm going to make the 30 mil bullets, so that can make 70 per with 20 steel plate. Wow! So that's four iron ingots and for nitrocellulose. Okay. Let's do it. So we'll make 700 1400 We'll make 1400 for now. Let's see how our constructors doing and it is Come on. Done those two turrets. Perfect. We'll put all that into storage later. So, we've got our towers that I built up here, and we're going to put the turrets on. Now, I don't know which direction the drone base is. It's obviously not behind me because the, uh, the barrier is right there. So, we're just going to put this here. And here. And that should be able to handle anything that uh, that the drone base throws at us. Um, oh, crap. Crappy, crap, crap. I derped because I need an ammo box. Did I not loot one? I guess not. Okay. Right, because there was no... There's no ammo box on the uh, <laughs> civilian POIs. Duh. Uh, ammo box we could probably put in here too. That looks good. And then, how's that ammunition going? We've got eight, 770 so far, so let's put that in there. Okay, now, actually what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a hell of a lot more fuel. So let's do that. And make a hundred of them. That'll make 200 in total. That's going to use up a hundred of my Promethium though. So whatever, that's fine. We'll let these spin up. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not sure why the drones haven't initiated yet. I mean, I'm used to them, like, as soon as I power up the base, it usually initiates. Okay, and then, come on, one more. Okay, what I want to do is get some more stuff going here. So let's, uh, we need a food processor need a couple of fridges uh, O2 generator sure let's make a solar cap 
capacitor and solar panel blocks you can put 20 on a base so let's make 20 okay let's see how the furnace is doing with our ingots you can see how fast the furnace is eh? it just plows through this stuff really fast and then when you're done with the furnace you can turn it off and it won't consume so much power no, I'm not. I, I actually. I'll have to confirm that. I'll check to see how much power usage there is with it on and off without actually smelting anything. I don't know. Okay, so that gives us a lot for now. Let's put that, 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 and. This probably needs to go into the ammo. Actually, here, we'll, we'll even this out a bit. Okay. So, that's all spinning up. Let's get some cargo in here. We can even put the ATM in. We can get some tech equipment. Uh, I didn't learn the medic station yet, eh? Wow, that's kind of pathetic. Uh, we're going to get some elevator blocks. Actually, let's make an armor locker. Okay. And I don't have any fuel. It's making fuel right now, so we'll deal with that. So, let's get this stuff in. While we wait for the drones to show up. Okay, cargo, I'm going to do inside here. Let me in, let me in. Actually, you know what? I can probably just go in there now. And I'm going to start getting hot pretty soon anyway. So it's time to go into a nice sealed air conditioned environment. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, it's not going to be the greatest view once I seal in the hangar bay, but whatever. Whatever. Okay. Uh, I think this back wall will be a good one for my cargo. So there's going to be a constructor here. So we want to leave a space between them. So we can start it there. And... Or should I do it on the... No, let's do it back here. Let's do it back here. We're going to just fill up this back wall with cargo boxes. <laughs> yes, I know. It's overkill. Okay. Here we go, our wall of cargo boxes. <laughs> okay, and then um, I don't really want to put anything up against the windows here. We can't put anything in the block that the window occupies anyway, so meh. Let's do our food processor up against the wall here. Hmm. So that would leave a space, so that'll leave two spaces. Let's do it here. And we'll put the fridge above it. We'll put another one above it because I'm going to put the uh, armor locker underneath that. Okay, medical equipment. What I mean by medical equipment is the medical station, which I don't have yet. I don't know it yet. But I do have the tech equipment, Deco, and there's four scanners that I want to see. This is one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hmm, should we do it out in the middle here to make it quick and easy access? 
I'm just not sure. And of course, somebody calls me every single time that I'm recording. My God. We'll turn that off. <laughs> every single time. I don't know why I didn't turn that off in the first place. So, um, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just put this here. <clears throat> put that one there. We're going to put the other table up on the wall right there. And then we'll put the other smaller scanners. So there's two other. This one's the small one. I know the picture looks big and this one's the big one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. So let's do Oh, you know what? I won't be able to put the medic station in there if I do this. So let's put this on the ceiling here. We'll keep rotating this. And it's going to interfere a little bit with the cargo. I don't care. And then we'll put this one up there too. Okay, so that's our four scanners. And when you look at them, this one will fix broken leg open wound this one does food poisoning poisonous bite this one up on the wall here does parasites and this one gets rid of your freezing heat stroke um, radiation sickness and radiation poisoning okay so now we can put some more stuff in here. Yeah, I put way too much cargo in here, didn't I? <laughs> way too much. You know what? I, I'm That's stupid. I'm just going to take some out. Okay. I'm going to take some out. We're going to remove some of these. Because that was ridiculous and stupid. Because <laughs> I want to put some uh, furniture deco here. I thought I had furniture deco. I know I have furniture deco. I think it's in the... Consoles. I don't care about the consoles. Cargo box. There it is. Okay. I gotta clean all this up. Oh good, we do have some fuel. <laughs> we'll clean all that up off camera. I just want to show you getting the base activated here. Okay, um, we need a water closet and shower. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, we'll do the water closet there and we'll do the shower right beside it. Okay. So that'll get rid of uh, food poisoning and bad trip, I believe. Yeah, food poisoning, bad trip. And then this gets rid of, it reduces radiation temperature and increases temperature. So if your temperature's screwed up, take a shower. If you're radiated, take a shower. And if you're poisoned by it, hit the scanner. Okay, so we now have every malady that we can expo be exposed to, we have a way of clearing that up well this was good this was good I know this is going to be a short little video but I think we're going to leave it here and we never got any base attacks that's really disappointing oh well okay well this was uh, quick and dirty I'm going to be taking the HV out and uh, probably getting some more stone, mining more, getting some more resources, explore a bit more. And then I'll be coming back, sealing up the base and start making some, some uh, grow plots for it. And we'll get that going. Okay, guys. Well, this was a blast. Uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. And next episode, we will have a little bit more base work done. And... Uh, hopefully some more parts for the HV and trick that out and then we can start thinking about getting an SV going. Okay guys, well this was a blast. Uh, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.